This video introduced the Nintendo Switch console, Nintendo Switch dock, Joy-Con grip, and two Joy-Con controllers, as well as the Pro Controller. Nintendo Switch is a console that can be played while connected to your television, but it is also a system you can bring with you to share the fun wherever you go. Nintendo Switch is a brand new kind of home gaming system that offers a wide diversity of play styles. In today's presentation, we intend to provide a detailed introduction to the Nintendo Switch hardware and All right. software. Bro! I'd like to thank you, March 17th. Using the Nintendo Switch launch date. That was a little bit sooner. Suggested retail price and online Watch service. Watch it be $250. i am going to say 300 at least. I'll say no, March 3rd, pro, a pro version for 300 Japan, March 3rd. Canada. Yep. Release date. 150 Hong Kong. Or 300 other territories. Yeah, baby. This is the suggested retail price for Nintendo Switch. In Japan, it will be 29,980 yen. The price of a brand new of a launch Wii U. In North America, it will be 299, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Online service? For the price in Europe, Please check with your local retailer. Oh, cock block by Europe. <laughs> Next, I have information about Nintendo Switch online services. With Nintendo Switch, you will of course be able to enjoy online multiplayer gaming. And when you use a smart device application that will connect to Nintendo Switch, you will be able to invite friends to play online I'm just curious what the how much the bundles are gonna cost. I'm saying Oh don't tell me it's gonna be paid online. Oh it is Honestly that's not they gotta compete with PSN and XBL. Honestly, that's not a bad thing because then you're guaranteed to get better service anyways. I mean I had like decent to good service for online. Are you what? serious region locking? That's fucked up. Uh, my fucking stream is, my fucking stream is buffering again. <laughs> they always region lock their shit though. I was I'm not surprised yeah, about that. Like cock blocking. Come on, stream, let's go. Wake the fuck up. It's like the P the PlayStation is the only true region free device. Good afternoon, everyone. Well, Xbox I One is too, but oh, really? I lead yeah. all Nintendo software development. <laughs> Nintendo Switch has inherited DNA from each of the many hardware systems Nintendo has released to date. The Nintendo Entertainment System included two controllers in the base system. That's pretty cool. Game Boy made it possible to bring video games. At least you're gonna get two controllers right off the bat. Super yeah, that's true. The X and Y buttons and the L and R buttons to enhance the fun. Nintendo 64 offered the world's Oh first damn! I need to post a streaming link on my uh. And on my uh, services here. Giving the SES classic Nintendo. We put a handle on Nintendo GameCube so it could be carried around. Even at that time, we were considering a full so game weird. system that you could take with you, but it seems we were a little too soon. Nintendo DS added a touchscreen. With the Wii Remote, motion control became possible. And the Wii U gamepad enabled you to play games off the TV. Which was a feature I used quite a bit, actually. Nintendo Switch <laughs> has inherited all of Nintendo's entertainment DNA, and we have packed each and every one of these features into the system. Nintendo is constantly pursuing new forms of entertainment to bring more fun and more smiles to the world. And the new entertainment we will present in 2017 is Nintendo Switch. But honestly, the Wii was the only console from Nintendo that I actually hated. <laughs> that 
Touch screen's a console? Nintendo Switch is a big... Yeah, the uh, the tablet part connects to the console to play it on the TV. For the home. You connect it to the TV to play games. That's obvious. When you want to play away from the TV, you just remove Nintendo Switch from the dock. So the net little tablet's the whole freaking console? Yeah. When you attach the I thought the whole dock was the console, and that was just the tablet. I think the dock's just a charging station. And while the dock also lets you hook it up to a TV, so... ...gaming system that gives you the freedom to change your playstyle. I wonder if there's 180p on the go. I heard it's going to be 720p I uh, on the on the small screen. Well, that's a big difference compared to the 3DS. TV mode. Oh! Mario Kart. Yoshi. Ah! Typical video game style. Table mode. Tabletop mode. <laughs> it looks like a tablet. It pretty much is a tablet. <laughs> Dude, those graphics look so sharp compared to older consoles. Especially I mean, the Wii U. Didn't like the 3DS have like 2040p or 360p? It's like 544, I think. Something like that. You can take it with you and play indoors, outdoors, or anywhere you like. And what do you think of handing a Joy-Con to a friend? It'd be so weird to use that, though. I know, right? Oh. It looks so tiny. My freaking hand would, like, break that thing. Battery life will vary by game, but it will range from two and a half Damn. hours to six and a half hours. I'm going to say about three hours regardless. And you will be able to play while charging the system using the included AC adapter and the USB certified portable batteries. How long do you think it'll take until that charger port uh, starts to get loose? You can connect over Wi-Fi yeah. multiplayer. Local multiplayer. And up to eight Nintendo Switch systems can be connected for local wireless multiplayer gaming. That's pretty awesome, actually. There you go. Switch and play. What do you think? With its three play styles, Nintendo Switch evolves gameplay, making it more active and offering greater freedom of play. And what makes this possible are the Joy-Con controllers. That's to gonna be so weird to get used to it play, first, you know that? Will enable, and yeah, especially the controllers. Switch software, yeah. I'd like to switch things over to general development producer, Yoshiaki Koizumi. Thank you very much. I can't believe it's already after 12 in Japan right now. Well, it's one PM. 14 hour difference. Controllers are very important when it comes to video games, right? And I suspect all of you are wondering what the Nintendo Switch Joy-Con are like. Allow me to introduce them to you in detail. And that thing's small. Holy shit! <laughs> These are the Joy-Cons and the Joy-Con grip. I can tell you one thing, I'll be using the Pro Controller pretty much all the time. Yeah. Same. <laughs> I have tiny hands, but even that thing's tiny. Dude, I can fit that whole thing in one hand. That's scary. Yeah. <laughs> Good God! Well, I mean, we know Japanese have small hands, but damn. That ain't, the, the, only fat fat the, that ain't the only thing small on them people. <laughs> there is a left and a right Joy-Con. Each Joy-Con has an analog stick. And each stick can also be pressed like a button. This Joy-Con has the familiar A, B, X, Y buttons, and beneath them is the home button. It's this house-shaped mark. There is an NFC reader writer that can read and write Amiibo data. What? Oh, wow. I, I was just going to ask about the Amiibo, too. And please look at the square button on this Joy-Con. This is the capture button for capturing screenshots of your gameplay. 
I got an Elgato. I don't need that. Hey, they're catching up to the times. How about that? They really are. Over social media. Yeah. And before, it's only about five minutes of gameplay, like the Xbox One. Each Joy-Con includes accelerometer and gyro sensors. Well, I need to do another live stream tomorrow. Like this. For what? I think for like the, more on the games. Yeah, they're doing a treehouse uh, thing tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to watch that too, but I might not be here. I don't know. I might miss most of it. I might be sleeping. These are L and R buttons. I mean, we're supposed to find out the launch lineup because on this, this press design, conference, too, so... I'm thinking we're going to at least find out that much. Individual controller. Tell us to remix is real. You can hand a Joy-Con to the person next to you in many two-player games. We call this... Sharing the Joy. Sharing the joy. How, long do you th how long do you think it'll take before somebody loses one half of that controller? <laughs> a week. And when you play with these joy cards, they fit in the palm of your hand. I give five days tops. Like this. And they feel very natural. Natural my ass. Good God. <laughs> for example. Maybe for you guys, for you Japanese you people, but for us Americans. From your shoulders and relax <laughs> while you play. That's all for my Joy-Con introduction. So do you think this could put the 3DS out of business too, or what? Yeah. I don't. I mean, it's like a hybrid, but. What is he gonna do? A magic trick? You know that was coming. <gasps> Bro. Nice. They look so nice, but so fucking tiny! I want that Miku blue color. <gasps> Dude! Oh, well, that's a good way not to lose your controller while you're playing. Yeah. Bigger buttons. That's pretty that cool. You swinging your hands, attaching to your wrist so you won't drop it. And it makes the Joy-Con easier to grip. Uh, yes, a callback to the Wii Remote. Holy shit, it actually is! As long as motion controls aren't the standard, to the point where they're required for every game, I'll be alright with that. Same. I didn't mind them in Splatoon, but for everything else, just no. That's the main reason I hated the Wii, because I didn't like the motion control gimmick. Upgrade the sensor bar. What's this? It feels like something shaking in a glass. What? The Joy-Con can convey to you the feeling of ice cubes colliding in a cup. What? If there's something seriously loose inside that thing, that is strange. Two. Three. The number of ice cubes in the glass. And you can feel water filling the glass. Alright, now you guys are making me thirsty. Could they have dumped the pepper right by? HD Rumble. Damn. HD Rumble? Those things have rumbles in them. With these new sensing and vibration technologies, the Joy-Con itself boasts an expressiveness that invites the player. Did the Wii controller even have rumbles in them? Um. Uh, I think they did, but they were very weak. Yeah, I know they had like, some a mic in there or something, like a speaker. Yeah, it had a speaker. Allow me to introduce you to two new games made possible by the Joy-Con. One that everyone can play together, <gasps> and one with depth, challenge, and replayability. I'm like a minute or so First, behind you guys, man. Switch to the game. Game. Please no indies! Please no indies! Sounds like something out of the Wild West. In before Red Dead. It looks like Red Dead! I think it is.
You're gonna stare at each other, you're gonna draw guns. Buffering again, damn it. <sighs> huh? Oh, it's like Wii Sports. Oh, you know that was coming. Oh, yep, it is. It's kind of like Wii Sports. You know well, you, sports game. you had a feeling that these gimmick games were going to be on here, so. Oh, naturally. Oh, look at all the stupid shit they have for Kinect. <laughs> well, hiding the Wii sold so well. Yeah, he has moved. You've got all these fucking retarded games that use the, the motion controls. Hello, everyone. One, two, switch. I am Koichi Kamoto, the producer of One, Two, Switch. I am also the general hardware director for Nintendo Switch itself. One, Two, Switch lets you enjoy so the expressiveness of the Joy-Con HD Rumble that was just introduced. But at the same time, it's a brand new kind of game. One that mixes up new kinds of play that haven't been seen before. Your typical video game has you playing while looking at some kind of screen, right? But one to switch can be played without looking at any screen. What? So then, where exactly do you look? In the oh. eyes of your opponents. You look directly into the eyes of hey, your opponents. Hey, look, I see Wii remotes. When will your opponent move? How will they move? Are they just faking? What? You look into their eyes to read their next move, and then you get to see them do something unexpected. In other words, 1-2-Switch isn't a game you play facing a screen. It is a game that is primarily played through face-to-face -face interaction. And that game will flop harder than a sack of potatoes. So you can bring Nintendo Switch to parties yeah. and after parties, indoors I or outdoors. I give credit for the imaginativeness, but it's just going to stop. The little universe has tweeted, it's high noon. To be a staple for parties, oh, I'm to to an icebreaker for all kinds of fun communication. One Two Switch features fun for everyone gameplay made possible by the Joy Con, and it releases. Obviously, the launch title. Oh, uh, apparently, reading locking is Thank dead you. now. What? Switch is reason free. That was one two switch. The game everyone. I hope so. That would be really nice. Next, let's look at a game with depth, challenge, and replayability that uses the Joy Con. A new gameplay experience. Wait, I can import all my weave shit. <laughs> Wait, what did you just say about reason locking? It's free now. It just said it's gonna be reason locked. Well, I couldn't hear well. I was looking at Twitter. Uh, I thought that's what it just said it would be region locked. So is it or isn't it? Did they clearly state it on the on the stream? I don't think they did. On Twitch, not Twitch, on Twitter. If I'm the. Uh... Oh my... What? What the fuck? So 
kind of boxing game? Every board is matched for Switch. This is a kind of weird ass boxing. Yeah. <gasps> Punch out? I never seen Punch Out with Stretch Armstrongs like that. Holy crap, the digitals are really nice. That frame rate looks so smooth. You do. Damn, the visuals. They're so colorful. Yeah. I can see this game being competitive for a little while. Looks like all you do is punch, though. Curveball. Oh! So you can throw curveballs and shit. And defend. You know what? Damn, that some Street Fighter shit. You know what's weird right now is my stream isn't buffering, but it froze anyway. <laughs> we saw that, right? We saw that Street Fighter shit. And this time... I was... Mm, hey, Matt! Hey, nice of you to show up. Hey, uh, where's the link to the thing? Uh, let me do it. Arms. I posted it on my page, on my YouTube, on my, uh, Facebook. Boy, I just got home. <laughs> oh, there it is. Cool, thank you. That does so far, cool. it's Hello, $100, it's coming out on March 3rd, and it's region free. How much? The producer 300. The Nintendo Switch game? Arms. I gotta admit, that fighting sort of game looks pretty decent. Arms is a fighting sports game that uses extendable arms to battle. It's like boxing, where you hit your opponent with punches, but it's also like shooting, where you aim and fire at distant opponents. I could see myself getting into that game for a little bit. You hold one joystick. In a thumbs up pose. I'm still trying to get Rocket League. The Joy Con senses your motions. So when you punch, your character also punches. I wonder how much delay there'll be between the motion control and the actual, uh, the actual movements on the screen. It's gotta be less than five milliseconds. You move your character. By tilting the Joy -Con. Any longer than that would cause major latency. Especially with a fighting game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can perform looks fun, though. Of actions. Those frame rates, man, they look so smooth. Because arms uses physical Visuals. controls. Anyone can pick it up and play right away. But we've made it so that as you play more, you'll uncover high-level techniques and strategies. Now... I'd like to show you a battle between two of our team members. Well, here we go. See an actual fight. Here are some of the characters who appear in the game. Spring Man and Ribbon Girl. It's all like very, very faint moments of lag. Yeah. <laughs> it's a very fast and active fighting game. Alright, Joe, you and me. I got some <laughs> frustration to let out. <laughs> I'll punch your face in, mate. Spring Man 1. Oh, it's on. I won't be surprised if Joe accidentally punches Matt's face. As you saw, oh. The most it's appealing Come on! <laughs> it doesn't even even say, you know there's going to be a Super Smash game for this. <laughs> oh, damn, damn straight. And you can play split screen against the friend, as you just saw. You can also bring your Nintendo Switch systems together to battle. And of course, we're preparing online battles as well. That's awesome, though. I don't see this as a type of game to go eSports, though, but I wouldn't be surprised if it does. Are you professional boxers? When did that say it was coming out? Oh, okay, so it's not a launch title. Just the general spring. Joy-Con controls can bring a new feel to even head-to-head fighting games that demand a high level of strategy and tactics. I hope you'll look forward to it. Next, let's switch. 
to this. Splatoon. Updated Splatoon. I wonder if they'll bring back the Splatfests for the newer Please. version. Look at all those new hairstyles! I still have played. Uh, I don't really have any fun. hardware play, but it was really fun. Well, now you got a job now, Josh. You could probably afford one of these sooner rather than later. Ah! Yeah. I, got, I, got, I can't stop screaming. Well, I've still barely been on my PS4 since I bought it. Ah! <laughs> oh, the oh, RC cars now? I know Splatoon and East. Oh wow! I wish my stream would stop freezing. It looks so smooth. Uh oh. Oh no no no! Oh look at a new kid! Oh god! <laughs> oh, I love some of these new weapons. I never really saw the appeal in uh, Splatoon, but I do know it's really popular. It's really fun. My nephew has it. I just never bothered to play it. So it's an actual sequel. It's Platoon 2. <laughs> Marie! I Where the heck is Callie? Platoon 2! I had a feeling that would be a sequel. At the, you know, at the least. Callie has, though. And today, I'm here to announce the fruits of my labor. It has been about two years since I first discovered the squid, and it seems there have been many changes to the squid world in that time. Turf War is their four-on-four team-based battles, where the two teams compete to spray the ground with ink and cover the most turf. This remains a popular sport, but it appears the battle stages have changed, and the factions and weapons used have also evolved. Here, you see the latest piece of technology. This weapon set is called the Splat Duelies. Not only do these dual-wielded weapons let you shoot ink from each hand, they also have nozzles that can propel you at a high rate of speed to outmaneuver your opponents. It is a fearsome weapon in the hands of one who has mastered it. And it appears the, the special weapons which can be activated after spraying enough ground with ink are all brand new. Surely with the introduction of new weapons, all new special weapons, and new battle stages, we will Those see some really badass super weapons. Tell you what, I'm going out first thing in the morning. I hope GameStop's going to start doing their pre-orders tomorrow. They probably will. Of course. I called them earlier today. They said they don't know when until after the conference. So I'm going to go there first thing in the morning. And you can also play in handheld mode. And of course, in either mode, you can use gyro controls to aim your aim. You press the X button to view the map. Uh. And to do a super jump, you press the button assigned to a teammate to instantly jump there. Of course, you can battle against friends and people you don't know over the internet. And you can also bring your games and Nintendo Switch systems together to battle friends face to face. That is all from the Squid Research Lab. Squid Research Lab. I can't believe they're actually calling it that. <laughs> Damn it! Give me more! So far they're announcing a bunch of games that aren't uh, launch titles. Yes! Damn it! in-game events. I'm very excited to once again enjoy those exciting times with everyone all around the world. Splatoon 2. This guy's a dork. Still <laughs> has many elements that we have Sorry I'm screaming about. into you guys' it's headphones. The Squid Research Lab will continue is, he, is this guy dabbing? As we discovered him. Doing something. Thank you for your time today. 
Alright well, guys, I'm really sorry for screaming like that. What squid do you think? This brand new version of Splatoon arrives this summer. Did you make for some hot matches? You know, Super Mario Switch isn't a launch title, I'm gonna cry. New Donk City. Alright. Donk? Donk Donk? Yeah! Mario! Super Mario Switch! In modern day! Oh, hell yeah! Look at those graphics! Mario's a staple. You knew Mario was coming. Holy shit! Oh my god! Look at those graphics! God damn! Mario, what are you doing in the big city? Why is he... He looks like he's in New York City, no less. Mario and GTA confirmed. It looks like they're incorporating parts of Mario Run into it. Hey, if he starts stealing a taxi cab, I'm calling the police on him. <laughs> what the hell was the, what what was that he was just collecting? Pizzas? Dude, these graphics are insane for a Nintendo game. Look how crisp that water looks. Yeah. Those flowers. Damn. Airship? Come on, show me a Yoshi. Come on, give me a Yoshi. Where's Yoshi? It's gonna have a day and night cycle too? That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh, he's got his ass burned. Wow, man, look at this. Well, what's the premise of the story? Bowser in a top hat? <laughs> Suit oh my god! Suit and a top hat, wow. Use Mario quote. He just jumped off his hat. Yes. He took off his hat! That wasn't a Yoshi, damn it. That's not a Yoshi! That's Alvin bullshit. Oh boy. Oh, the oh. airships are back. Oh! Daniel. Wow. What is that? Huh? Holy shit, that looks like something out of Zelda. Please be a launch title. Please be a launch title. You Super Mario Odyssey. Wow, it's not even called Super Mario Switch. <laughs> His hat has eyes. Sorry for my appearance. I am Yoshiaki Koizumi, the producer of Super Mario Odyssey. While I am the overall producer for the Nintendo Switch hardware, I simultaneously have a hand in the newest Mario game, Super Mario Odyssey. This is the first time since Super Mario 64 and Super Mario Sunshine that we have created a large Mario sandbox world like this for you to run About around. damn time, too. The theme of Mario this time is a journey to an unknown world, and Mario has oh. jumped out of the Mushroom Kingdom to go on an extraordinary adventure. I said unknown, but perhaps you notice some landscapes that look familiar from the real world. And, at the end of the video, New York. some of you have noticed some unusual eyes or something on Mario's cap. Oh, and right here. Right there. I guess that's going to be the game's gimmick. In particular, offers action that can only be experienced oh. on Nintendo Switch. This Wait, did that mean Bowser kill the person for a, in a kid's game? I hope you'll look forward to it. In the 20 years since we made Super Mario 64, I've been on a lot oh, is he rolling like Sonic? Yes. <laughs> and we are working on this. He just oh stole Sonic's freaking spin dash. With the excitement one feels when visiting unknown countries for the very first time. I'll be very happy when you can all join me in departing on this new Mario journey on Nintendo Switch. Oh, so like Mexico. We plan to release Super Mario Odyssey. Damn. That's not a country though. Damn. Come on, man. What's the freaking launch games? So I hope to offer you a chance to try it out at another time. So please wait. Holiday. Damn. Thank you. They make you wait for that one. Tell you what, that's gonna be a blockbuster Christmas seller. Yeah. 
definitely it's Mario. So far, they have like nothing for the freaking launch. The launch. What's this? Is this Final Fantasy? It's no way. Japanese. It's open world. Or Dragon Quest. It's anime, that's for sure. Sword art? No. Ah, uh, it's not sword art. Moth Hunter? Okay, it has to be either Xenoblade or Monster Hunter. Damn, look at those graphics, though. Yeah. I, w I wish I could look at them, but my stream keeps freezing. For an <laughs> anime game? Holy cow. And before we see a Neptunia game on the Switch. I will not be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. It's pretty much exclusive to PlayStation. PC don't count since those are ports. So what is this? I think it's another Xenoblade. Yep, it is the sword. It's Xenoblade. Damn. Oh, my phone is going nuts with freaking notifications right now. Dude, look at that. Xenoblade 2. Xenoblade 2! I called it. Too bad Sean wasn't here, man. He'd be, like, gushing over this right now. No, you yeah. know he's watching or doing something. Koei Tecmo. Oh, yeah, baby. Dead what do you alive. got for us? Yep, Dead or Alive. Which is surprising to see Dead or Alive on a Nintendo hardware. Aura! Fire... Oh, yeah, it's Dead or Alive. Uh, it's Team Ninja. It might not be a DOA game, but it probably has some characters in it. Fire Emblem! It's Fire Emblem Warriors! Siri? Oh, is that that's the is that the Fire Emblem game you were mentioning the other day? Yes, it's Fire Emblem! Oh, I know what game I'm gonna be picking up. I love the Warrior style games. Cause I can just tell from the sword. <laughs> Because I saw the Falcon and Corrin sword. Never played any of those what games. You just saw. Was Bro! Bro! They don't have any the hardware. Fire Ooh. Emblem Warriors, man. Holy That's shit. You know, the only game I've ever played out of the Zelda series was the uh, Hyrule Warriors, and that's because of Koei. I'm a big, I'm a big fan of the Warrior series. That third party support. Over 80 games in development already. Square Enix has already announced that they are preparing Dragon Quest X and Dragon Quest XI for release on Nintendo Switch in Japan. But there is another Dragon Quest game making an appearance. Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2 for Nintendo Switch. How many quests did he are gonna make? Now, take a look at this. Now Final Fantasy. Bro! What do we got over here? It's an Atlas game. Persona? Persona 5 for Switch. Looks like Shin Megami Tensei 5. Unreal Engine 4, that's a good sign. Oh shit, didn't bring out the big guns. Yep, it is, Shin Megami Tensei. I don't know what that is. It's one of the Atlas's series. For some of the spinoff of a Shin Megami Tensei. I don't think I've ever played it. Oh, look at all those. This guy looks like something out of fucking X-Men. Got 
know, right? This is, that guy looks like a, a feud between Magneto and Wolverine. If only I could read Japanese. <laughs> Shin Megami Tensai. Square Enix game. Damn it. What the heck is that? I know the first sentence in Shin Megami Tensai. Bravely, is this a bra this is a Bravely game? That's what it looks like. I hope it's not censored like the fucking last two were. Yeah, it's a Bravely game. That does not look like a Bravely game. Looks too deep. Surprised the trailer was actually in English. Oh, yeah, you're right. It does look like one. I'm gonna import this one. What you just saw was the latest game in the Atlas series, Shin Megami Tensei, which just, celebrates no. the 25th anniversary this year. Development has only just begun. But they were kind enough to prepare this video for us today. And the other title is a brand new RPG from Square Enix. Oh, so it's just Shin Megami Tensei. So are they rebooting the series, I guess? A unique style and sense of scale. It's the 25th anniversary. forward to additional information in the future. Now, let's hear from some of the developers working on new games for Nintendo Switch. To start, let's switch over to this individual. Hello everyone, I'm Toshiro Nagoshi from SEGA. Ooh. SEGA sees a tremendous amount of appeal in Nintendo Switch. <clears throat> and tend to be God Nintendo. damn it, a pun! And similarly, I, as an individual creator, sense a new kind of appeal with this game hardware. We will, cons we will consider new games for Nintendo Switch and we'll present them soon. Oh, if we're Miku for Switch. Is taking on a new challenge and has a lot of appealing points. And I would like to uh, take advantage of this new concept and create uh, an, accept an interesting game. Thank you very much for your time today. Thank you, Nagoshi-san. Well, that was about as vague as it could get. Switch to this person. Yeah. Hi, I'm Todd Howard here at Bethesda Game Studios, and we're excited to announce... God damn it, Japan! Is coming to the Switch. Skyrim's coming to the Switch. Overdone pun is overdone. I called it! It was in the fucking trailer. We love to make games. Yeah, uh, people were saying, though, that they only made that... They only put it in the trailer to kind of try to hype up the system, but it wasn't actually going to come to the Switch. They totally lied, basically. Well, and it's actually coming to the switch. Handheld Skyrim, though. Tell you what, those graphics look pretty damn clean on a Nintendo console. Yeah. You look at all they've done for video games over the decades. They've brought so much innovation and fun to all of us, and they're doing it again. The Switch is both yeah, yeah, but that's the game they're all fucking beautiful. To Too bad they're broken as shit when they first come out. Yeah. Thank you, Todd San. Next, let's switch to this person. I'm glad I'm not playing a drinking game. I'd probably be shit faced by now. I didn't go very well. Hi everyone, I'm Suda Pixel from Grasshopper. Grasshopper manufacturing. Take a drink every time they say switch. Yeah, I'd probably be pla I'd probably be plastered by now. Yeah. Today I'd like to start. Take a drink every time they say switch. Fuck. One of the games that I work on. Do you all remember the one yard from the center destroyed was born out of a tag team between Marvelous and Hurry up, translate and speak. Travis touchdown. Be making his return on Nintendo Switch. Could you show the illustration, please? Travis Touchdown. Why does that name sound familiar? So this is Pokemon Stars. Nintendo Switch. The title hasn't been decided yet, but 
Oh, uh, what the fuck? About a year ago. What the fuck? I've been going to some events, some gaming events in Japan, such as Big Sun, and I've been discussing with, exchanging ideas with uh, the indie game community, and we've been discussing about I like the art at least. Uh, ideas for the new Nintendo Switch consoles, and I've heard that it's. Uh, <laughs> I've heard that it's an easier platform to create games for, um, especially for Indian uh, developers. And so that matches with what we are uh, expecting in a gaming development. You know, I just hope my Elgato works with the Switch. Well, it has an HDMI cable, so it might. So, this one game that I'm working on right now. Uh, will be something that will take advantage of this uh, uh, environment that's easy for uh, indie developers to create a game. And so we will have a game that will have a fusion of death matches and strong styling. Sort of no More Heroes 3? Uh, hey, No More Heroes is a pretty good game from what I've played. And I'd love to see Travis running around um, in a game for Nintendo Switch. Thank you very much for your time today. It was What's with everybody posing? <laughs> Thank you, Sudasan. Next. There we go. Switch to this switch person. To this guest. Next. It's a huge honor and privilege to be here today representing the passionate and talented team at Electronic Arts. For me, to be on this stage is like a dream come true. Electronic Arts and John it's not ready. Yeah, this panel with the Pro Controller. Who cares about EA? For as long as I've played games, I've been a massive fan The only games I like from them is Need for Speed and Burnout, and they pretty much killed both franchises. So much so that when my firstborn son was born, my wife and I gave him the middle name Luigi. What the fuck? Are they alluding to some kind of Luigi game? Luigi with EA? Ew! I don't want that. It's a sports game, whatever it is. It's a FIFA game. Ah, eh, soccer's lame. No offense to anybody out there who uh, likes soccer and all. Especially if you're from Europe land. It will deliver the FIFA experience, custom built for Nintendo Switch, so you. All right, so no more heroes. Do was confirmed. That's you know a, that that's gonna be yeah. a good game. Cause that trailer kept mumbling and everyone saying it's no more heroes three. If you're at the park, you join us. Or on vacation, you can always stay connected to the biggest matches. And you'll be able to play and get on the pitch with hey the Jack. team from the world. Am, best I can't remember right from people playing that well. All with the unmatched authenticity uh, and depth that FIFA is known for. Hey, what's going on, Jack? Oh, sweet, I got his name right. So far, they didn't announce the specs for the console, honestly. But it's really good. So it has to be like really powerful. They say powerful, but it's going to depend on the Nintendo Switch in 2017. Thank you. Well, we got a sandbox final game for one thing. That's gonna be that's gonna be epic.
So the the console's three hundred dollars so far. That's the launch price. They didn't announce any bundle prices, but I'm gonna say bundles are probably be four hundred. All right, the presentation's over. And it comes out March third. Hey, was that Sonic? I'd like to bring my portion of the presentation to an end. Thank you. Oh, Splatoon 2 confirmed. Mario's getting a sandbox game. Come on, the stream keeps freezing like a bitch. Oh, Dragon Ball Xenoverse on the Switch. That's probably the support of Xenoverse 2, though. Oh, boy. Sonic! This guy is live! They, port they ported the sky to, to the Switch? Yeah! Wow. I mean, I already have it on the PS4. I'm not going to buy it again, but that's pretty fucking cool. Street Fighter! Street Fighter 2! Those are virtual console games, apparently. That looks like Terraria. Snowboarding, skiing. Bomberman. I tell you, man, that arms game looks pretty damn cool. Minecraft, I expected. Mario Kart 8 update, or Mario, maybe Mario Kart 9, for all we know. F Zero. I mean, it's going to be difficult. What did you think? I think this game console looks amazing, to be honest. Nintendo finally got back what they really needed, and that was all that third-party support. Today, you heard now they just got to make sure they don't lose it. But there are still many others working hard. And before Inside making that for Switch. Original game content. In addition to the franchises our fans have loved, we will also introduce the world to new forms of entertainment made possible by the unique characteristics of the Nintendo Switch hardware and the Joy-Con controllers. Since we revealed new colors of Joy-Con during this presentation, allow me to share with you our Nintendo Switch product configurations. I just realized I'd get to play... Oh wait, uh, these must be the specs! The Nintendo Switch Please be the specs. The Nintendo Switch console. A left and a right Joy-Con. Joy-Con wrist straps. The Joy-Con grip. We're on my freaking arms falling asleep. The Nintendo Switch dock. Resident sleeper. An HDMI cable. Oh, this is what this and comes with AC when you adapter. buy a Switch. Dude, you get a lot of shit. The Pro Controller will also be available separately. In before 50 bucks. There will be two versions. One model with gray Joy-Con controllers. I'm definitely getting the Pro Controller. The neon blue the same and one neon colors. red Joy-Con. Both versions will be the same suggested retail price. I want to get that multicolored one. I don't know about you guys. We have shared a great deal of information with you for this presentation. Same. Apparently they're both going to be pre-orderable. That would be pretty cool. You have to pre-order quickly though. I just saw like you have limited pre-order stocks. Well, I, I just hope... Uh, I get to GameStop first thing tomorrow morning before they open, and I'll be able to put one down. Get there like half hour early. Yeah. I gotta put my nephew on the bus, and then uh, my mom's gonna go get coffee, and then I'm gonna get to the mall. So I'll probably get there about a half hour before it opens. Good morning, everybody in Europe. I'm just gonna wait and see what kind of games are in there. I'm not excited. They showed a good amount of them already. For a while, some of them that are coming out this year. Tomorrow, I can play on the, on the other platforms, so I don't really know if it's really that economical. I mean, the, the games they showed, the games they showed specifically for the Switch are Nintendo exclusive. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm searching for other games. I know that. Basically, I don't know Kirby though, or Pokemon. 
in the coming months. Well, I don't know. Maybe Treehouse tomorrow will show it some more stuff to find out. that That's they didn't true. show today. I'm definitely going to try to watch that. I'm going to well, wake up early. Well, well, if they get something, well, if they get the next Monster Hunt, then I'm going to... All I know is I think that price point's pretty fair. $300? That's pretty cheap. And all that stuff you get... Yeah, right? You get the wrist straps, the controller, two of them, no less. Um, you know, the, well, obviously, oh, the hookups are not... Yeah, but those wrist straps are a good idea. And they actually I mean, it's, a, it's essential, though. It makes the controller a, lot, a bit bigger, too. Makes it easier for you not to lose your shit. <laughs> Reggie! Tweets and messages all about Nintendo Switch. We're here getting ready to show off Nintendo Switch to a small group tomorrow. But you may get your own chance to play well before launch. I know uh, Vinny from Vine Sauce, he's going to the, uh, the Nintendo Switch uh, event in New York. I think it's like next week. It's going, is that an event there too? I'm jealous, man. I'd love to go to that Switch event. I actually get my hands on, hands on and try to play even 10 minutes of the console just to experience it firsthand already. Which combine all the gameplay innovations Nintendo's invented and then adds to them. But of course, the biggest buzz is reserved for the games. And man, what games? <laughs> question, there's a lot in the world. See, one guy's playing Zelda in the background. One thing is missing. But if you listen carefully, maybe you can hear it. Floating in the air. Kirby? Yep, there it is. Soundtrack for what's been far and away the most anticipated Nintendo Switch game right from the start. Oh, Zelda. Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So, where is it? It's right behind well, you. It'll be here at a special event elsewhere in New York tomorrow. Oh, the New York thing is this weekend. I thought it was next week. So let's go over there and see what these guys have to say. Yeah, it froze on me a lot. You're here early. You're playing the new Legend of Zelda game. How do you like it? What do I know? Good. This <laughs> well, so many eager fans want to know the one critical question. When are we launching the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Give me that launch date. Mr. Ayanuma. Ayanuma. I'm the producer for the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. You know everything about the game. Certainly you must know. When are we launching the game? Oh my god! Just kill me! I guess that settles it. There's nothing left for me to do but to throw it back to Tokyo. And Mr. Kimishima, do you have I'm not gonna to jump into the hype train. I'm still skeptical. Stop hyping it up for me! Shibata-san, Reggie-san, Miyamoto-san, and Aonuma-san, thank you very much. You've left me with a very important task, but... I'll have to come back to your question in a second. God damn it! Come on, man. They're cock-blocking us now. It's just Ooh. around the corner on March 3rd. Tomorrow and the next day, we'll hold a Nintendo Switch hands-on event at the big site in Tokyo. And we'll begin taking pre-order reservations at retail in Japan starting January What the fuck? Those specifications? Really? Yeah, they were supposed to tell us specs. They didn't. I hope that we've shown enough to earn your support. Now, we do have one last thing to share with you today. Oh? Before we do, I would like to humbly and sincerely thank everyone here for listening and everyone around the world for tuning in. Zelda? I don't know about you guys, but I got goosebumps on top of goosebumps right about now. Look at those fucking graphics! Nah, I'm not hyped. Is that a Zelda game? Yeah. Uh, my stream froze again. They'll... From that, the 20th time. That is not like a Zelda game. They'll probably announce the specs about a week of before or during the launch day or something. 
maybe it's Zelda, but holy cow. Yep, it's all oh, the little Kokori kids. Wind Waker. There's the Master Sword. God damn, those graphics look beautiful. Yeah, it is. It looks good. This is a big step up from the Wii U, that's for sure. I'm definitely getting the Switch version of Zelda. Cool. Mom, get the camera. <laughs> Deku tree. Oh god, the fairy queen. I don't think the Wii U version was cancelled. Played, it was the Minishka. I might get this one. This looks really story heavy. Wait, what was that? What is this? No! <laughs> launch title! They said it wasn't going to be a launch title. I hope that means it's not going to be a freaking broken game when it comes out. Bro. Ah, uh, no technical. Just pure hype. Oh my god. Smart, smart. Let me see something quick. Well, that was it, man. What do you guys think? Final thoughts? I think, uh, I think they were pretty, pretty excited. They were pretty good tonight, man. Nintendo did exactly what they needed to do. I didn't. Zilt. Just like holy cow, it's Zelda screaming and crying like that. I can tell it's gonna be an emotionally driven game. Well, it looks like I'm all alone now. I thought we were gonna do the uh, the rest of this event uh, coverage and final thoughts and whatnot, but uh, apparently everybody decided to leave the uh, the chat. So I guess I'm left to finish the show by myself. Honestly, I think Nintendo did exactly what they needed to do. Uh, they focused on games. Um, I wish they would have showed more in the launch titles, though. Um, and, uh, and whatnot. But uh, $300 is a pretty damn good price. And uh, some of the games they showed, pretty much all the games they showed, looked fantastic uh, on Nintendo. They uh, pretty much caught up. Or I wouldn't say caught up, but they're catching up, man. Now you can uh, do what the Xbox and PlayStation can do. They have a built-in... Uh, PVR in their new console. I uh, wonder what that's about because you know how they like to flag uh, all the co uh, all the uh, the content that creators put up on YouTube of their games. Uh, <laughs> maybe that's a way to sucker more people into the uh, creators program. Who knows? 
but uh, I'm hyped. I'm going to try to get a pre-order uh, tomorrow, uh, depending on if GameStop's taking them tomorrow. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, anybody going to the New York event, uh, shout out to Vinny from Vine Sauce. Um, hope you have a, a great time. And uh, to you, Vinny, I'm um, sure you'll be talking about the Switch and your experiences with it if you get your hands on it at the event, since uh, I heard you are going. Uh, so I look forward to hearing about that. Uh, Super Mario Odyssey looks really good. Definitely looking forward to that game. Uh, there are already over 80 games in development across Nintendo first party and third party development. Nintendo got their um, third party support back for now. Uh, it's exactly what they needed, man. And, um, you know, it's something that uh, they failed to capture with the Wii and the Wii U. So um, I hope going forward, uh, Nintendo. Nintendo starts to uh, to strive uh, like they uh, used to uh, back in the day. And um, supposedly I'm hearing this console's uh, region locked or region free. I hope it's region free, to be honest. Um, pretty much everything uh, I saw today, that game ARMS, surprised me. Uh, we still don't know exactly if that Mario Kart game is going to be a sequel like Mario Kart 9, or if it's just going to be a uh, newer version of Mario Kart 8. Uh, you know, we were told uh, Breath of the, v the Wild, the Zelda game, wasn't going to be a launch title, but it is, apparently. Uh, then we have, of course, you have your gimmick games. You have that 1-2 Switch game and the and the, the sports motion controller type deal with the... the uh, thing there too with that one game uh, that they showed that's going to be a uh, launch title as well uh man i'm telling you i'm looking forward to it and uh hey, even if i buy it on day one and it sits on the shelf for six months i don't care because i am not dealing with these scalper assholes that are going to be lining up on launch day especially those that don't get a pre-order at any store down and uh, they're going to go out and they're going to buy them all up and they're going to put them up on eBay for about $1,000 and up. To you scalpers, y'all go fuck yourself. You scalping pricks. I never liked you and I don't like you to this day. You fucking bastards. But enough of that. Let me see if I get one more, uh, one final word from everybody here. Uh... I'll just read out whatever they say. Well, apparently nobody here in my Discord chat um, has anything to say. Uh, I'm hyped. Uh, these guys, when it comes to gaming, they're a bunch of buzzkills, unfortunately. They don't, uh, they don't get hyped really for anything, uh, which kind of sucks. So, uh, oh well. <laughs> I really want to join it when it comes out, you know. Well, uh, trying not to stall this video out anymore. I really don't have anything else to say. So, um, final uh, verdict. I think this went well. I'm going to watch the Treehouse special uh, tomorrow to see what they show and what they talk about on that. As far as showing more games and probably some footage from the New York event, who knows? Um, Three hundred dollars, you get two versions of it. You can get the multicolored uh, controller version. You can get the standard gray controller version. Uh, you get two controllers. You get the wristbands. You get the, uh, you know, obviously the, uh, the the docking station, the the charger wire, the HDMI cable. Uh, apparently, this game console doesn't power through uh, uh, external uh, use into a wall outlet. So, at least that's what I'm gathering uh, with this presentation. Didn't show it being plugged into a wall outlet. Built-in PVR, I don't know how good it's going to be. Uh, probably just as poor quality as the PS4 one 
Uh, games look like they're in 60 frames per second in at least uh, 700 to 900p. Possibly even 1080. That Mario game looked fucking fantastic. Um, over 80 games in development. Koei Tecmo is working on a game. Uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. I can't wait for that to come out. Uh, there's going to be a Sonic port of, uh, I guess, Sonic Mania to the Switch. Um, Disgaea 5 is getting a Switch port. Um, which kind of sucks for that game because it came out in 2015. So, there's really, really no need for that game to be ported to the Switch. But, eh. It's whatever. Still waiting on a new Kirby game, though. Outside of the handheld. And, um, that Pokemon game that's supposedly in development for the Switch. I'm interested to, uh, find out what that's all about. Uh, Splatoon 2 looked alright. I'm not really a fan of that series. Um, my nephew has it. I could have played it so many times, but I just didn't. Uh, I'm sure we're going to get a Smash Bros. game for the Switch. It's only a matter of time uh, until we do. And uh, with all these developers that are on board, man, I'm interested to see what comes out uh, in the coming uh, coming months, you know, in the next year or two. Hopefully the Switch has a pretty decent uh, launch. Hopefully a lot better than the Wii U did. And, uh, you know, hopefully it has a hell of a lot of a hell of a lot of uh, success because Nintendo needs this thing to uh, be successful and um, I hope they do hope they do well with this one because uh, Nintendo's going to go go under eventually if they keep failing you know the ever since the Nintendo 64 has started to go downhill uh, the GameCube wasn't as successful uh, the Wii was a miracle the Wii U was a turd, so this thing needs to sell well um, in order to keep their third-party support that the people are already on board with them. Uh, the Unreal Engine 4 will run on the Switch. We have a port of Skyrim Remastered going to the Switch. And uh, got a new, we got a FIFA game, which, you know, I'm not a fan of soccer, so... Who cares about that game? You know, you guys, soccer fans out in Europe, football fans, uh, real football, you know, as they call it in Europe, soccer fans of America and whatnot, I'm sure you guys will look forward to it. You guys, uh, and uh, we got a Shin Megami Tensei uh, 25th anniversary game coming out, uh, Dragon Quest Heroes 1 and 2. As well as Dragon Quest 10 and 11 are currently in development for the Switch. Uh, those will probably be out next year. Or maybe at the end of this year. I'm going to say next year. At least 10 will be... Maybe 10 will be out this year. 11, definitely next year. Um, there's really nothing else I can add to this, uh, to this uh, talk here. We had some live reactions from... Uh, fellow friends here and um, I don't know man I'm looking forward to it and that's really all I can say from here uh, looks like we're gonna have virtual console that's great they showed uh, Street Fighter 2 for the virtual console they showed look like a Tetris game uh, you can connect eight Nintendo switches uh, for local play uh, you will have to pay for online with the Switch, which in a way is a good thing because uh, with that you'll be guaranteed better servers. And quite honestly, uh, for free servers, I haven't uh, experienced anything terrible uh, with the Wii U. Uh, Smash Bros. played very well on the Wii U. Um, Pokémon Tournament played very well on the Wii U uh, online. And I played... Um, a little bit of Mario Kart 8 online too, and that wasn't so that wasn't too shabby. And uh, I hear Splatoon did pretty well online, so yeah, paying for online is you know just uh, catching up to the other consoles. But uh, thank thank you Nintendo, you guys set out to do what you had to do, and I look forward to March 3rd. I will be unboxing my console when I get one, hopefully on launch day. 
Uh, so I look forward to that. And until my next video, my name is The Rose, and I'll catch your ass down the road.